So 2020 has just begun and it is the perfect time to look back at the year of 2019 and go through my top 5 films of the year. Now, 2019 seemed like a pretty decent year for movies, especially movies I was interested in. Sadly, there have been a lot of movies which either haven't been released yet in Australia or weren't playing in my local theatre, so I haven't been able to see them yet. I'll probably put them on the side here so you know which ones I'm talking about. Other than that, let's get into some honourable mentions. So the two honourable mentions I would like to talk about are the LEGO Movie 2 and the Aladdin Live Action Remake. Now, The Lego Movie 2 is a really good sequel. It was a lot more fun than I thought, and I never wanted to see it in cinemas because I was like, eh, is it really going to be that good? But I really enjoyed it. And the Aladdin live action remake is the perfect way to do the remake of a Disney cartoon. Why do I say that? Because it works in so many ways. So many things change, but at the same time, so many things don't. Had this movie had more money and put enough time into the CGI, well, instead of putting it into something like The Lion King, then this movie would be near perfection because it wouldn't look as bad as it does in some places. But moving on into the top 5 and in the number 5th position we have the Joker movie. Now this movie was something everyone was anticipating, it's made so much money and if you really want to see my review of this movie you can actually just see the review, I'll put the card at the top here. But I'm going to be really brief and just say this movie on its own, if it wasn't tied to comic book characters would be a fairly mediocre movie. But then when you put these comic book characters on there and when you actually put a story like this in a comic book universe. With the Joker, it changes a lot and it's really entertaining. It does have its flaws, but it looks so amazing and it is so well acted. Coming in at number 4, we have Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Now, I was very excited for this movie. If you've seen my top 10 things or something that I'm looking forward to in 2019, this was on that list. Because I love Tarantino and all his work, Django Unchained is one of my favourite movies of all time. And this movie is really well crafted. When I saw it, I was like, oh, this is, you know, it's not really as amazing as I expected. But then when I had some time to think about it and actually did some research on the actual historic events and see what was changed and what this was and what that was, it's actually really cool. I think the duo of DiCaprio and Brad Pitt is so good. Every person, every character is so entertaining. Margot Robbie's character, Sharon Tate, obviously doesn't have too much to do, but I like how she's implemented into the key story with DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. Then in the number three position, we have the animated classic of the Toy Story 4. Why do I say animated classic? Because this will go down as being the greatest animation animated series of all time. With how good every single movie is, this movie will be known as a classic because it closed off the story to his, a movie series that's been going on for two decades or so. It's been going on for a long time and it's just so well done. I can't, I can't sing enough praises about this movie because it looks gorgeous. The story is so inventing and here there are a few places where you have to suspend, suspend your disbelief but you know this is a movie about toys coming to life so yeah if you don't, don't watch this movie and you don't feel some sort of emotion for the new character Forky it's just a really entertaining movie especially for me who has that nostalgia of seeing the first three movies. Um, you know, I didn't see them all in cinemas, but I remember seeing them um, when I was younger and it was really good. Toy Story 2 is still my favourite of the series, I can't call it a trilogy anymore, but this movie is still really good. Coming up to our top 2 in the second position, we have Ford v Ferrari. Now, I was not expecting this movie to be one of my favourite movies of this year. But it's just so well done and entertaining. And especially because I don't really know anything about cars and racing and all this kind of jazz. For me to be entertained and emotionally invested in these characters really goes to say something about how well this movie is made. How great the acting is, how great the action or racing sequences are and how well written it is and directed. I really like this movie, especially having a few months to like really think about it and whatnot. I just really like this movie, so it's it's in the second position of my list. But finally, coming in at number one, I really 
expected this to always be my favorite movie of 2019. It is Endgame! Avengers Endgame, yes. This is my favorite movie of 2019. It is everything I didn't know I wanted and more. Yes, I expected the characters to come back. Yes, I expected some of the original six to die. Yes, I knew Thanos would inevitably lose. But the way it went around doing that, I did not see the time travel coming in the way it was done. I did not see all these time heists happening. I didn't see the portal scene happening. I didn't know Thanos was going to die in the first few minutes. That Thor would become so depressed in his own way, different to how Hawkeye. The way that the movie just balances everything is so well done. There's a lot of fan service, but it's fan service that is deserved and earned. There's a lot wrong with the movie but it does what it needs to do for the sake of the movie itself, for the sake of the saga it's telling them, Infinity Saga. Marvel Studios have done such a great job with this movie, I really am so shocked by it and I just love it and it is easily my favourite movie of 2019. Now let me know what is your favourite movie of 2019 in the comment section down below. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and until next time in the year 2020 and beyond. I'll see you guys.